everybody welcome on back to the channel i think i got you a little bit turned too much there we go all right i jumped on the bandwagon since someone had picked this uh, or showed this company to me and i ordered from yes you got it the big orange bag or timu order this is the first one i got and i just wanted to bring it to you and share with you uh my opinion of it uh my order got here very fast, uh, faster than what they said it was. Um, and it had nothing to do with me being a YouTuber. Um, didn't have my YouTube channel on it or anything like that. Um, so anyway, just wanted to bring you that. But first, I wanted to share something that I learned uh, how to do off of um, a channel here on YouTube. Um, Real Minecraft 2, Richard posted a video on a bracelet, and I wanted to show my first one that I did for my son. Look at this. It, um, right? So, I finished this one for my son, and Amber said she wanted one, so I finished this one for her right uh, yeah. i thought they came out really well and uh my first two and then i noticed that someone had shared and i cannot remember the channel that uh you could make rings so this one is the first one I made, which was too big for Ember. So I made her this one that matches, it uh, uses the same beads as her other one, right? And then this one kind of matches Travis's, except for I, instead of using the clear white uh, seed beads, I used black, and that's the difference. I mean, just adding a different seed bead to the same bead is that difference so i wanted to make sure that richard got his credit for showing me how to do that i am in the process of making a thinner one um just playing around with it to see what i can do but anyway let's jump into this timu haul and see what i got okay let's just do the small stuff which i'm not gonna open amber said she wanted her ears pierced again so kind of as a joke, but if she uses it, great. I got this disposable ear piercing, right, kit. It comes with these little things right here. So if my uh, other niece wants to help Ember pierce her ears for the second time, that's up to them. So I got, uh, with all this stitching and stuff and my cross stitch that I've been using or doing, I got... A thimble right and see it's got the guard right here that you can help push in right but uh, yeah so it's a thimble right so just to help with the I don't want to Hurt my fingers too much so but i got that and hang on and i'll see about looking for my my book and i'll get the prices for you before we get too far in <laughs> okay i got my book the ear piercing kits were 69 cents a piece so if they don't get used it's not a big deal um the thimble was 78 cents so yeah and i'll try it out and see what i think but it's not a big deal okay i got this tape and it's supposed to be the mounting tape transparent right washable reusable double-sided tape right there's Quite a bit on there not a lot right and the tape uh i 
that I just saw it. Oh, come on, guys. Come on. Oh, yeah. It was $1.49. So, if it's reusable, that's what I'm wanting to check out and stuff. So, but I'll bring this back to you and just let you know how it works out. Okay. This I got because I'm always looking to measure something, right? And... This, the measuring tape was 71 cents. It's got this little button for retracting it, right? And it's got centimeters on one side. You push the button and it goes back in. So let's see how long I can go without losing this thing, right? Okay, and this is for paper crafting. It is a corner rounder, right? And it was $1.78. And this is what it is. You just shove the corner of your paper in here. You mash down and it cuts the corner off, right? It's got the cover on the bottom so your corner or your pieces don't just go everywhere. You can take this off and never put it back. Or you can put it back every time. It just depends on what you want to do. But it came in this little box. Everything seems to have come, I don't know, relatively great. It hasn't, I haven't had a bunch of, I guess it does go in there like that. Uh, anything that's like smashed up or anything like that. But on, in this one, I got four diamond paintings, right? Um, we're going to look at those separately. But uh, my biggest thing on this one was silicone molds. And we're going to start with this one. And I'm sorry about the crinkle, everybody. Right? But, okay. Here is this one. And what it is, is it's a pot. This is the lid, right? Of course, you put the silicone or the, the epoxy resin in here. And you put it in here. And then, but this right here is how big it's going to be and then the lid goes on top right so this one right was let me see storage when was called i made i made sure that i labeled these molds so that i would be able to just pop them out here but of course they're not all right, this one here was this was uh, you know is three fifty nine, which I didn't think was bad at all for um, a silicone mold that you can use over and over, right? Okay, there's one in here. Let's see which one I want to do next that I can actually find relatively quick, so the video isn't like oh my god, right? This one here on the thing says that it was two eighty seven, and it's gonna be kind of cool because this one, even though it's a container that you can hold things in, right, is also a mushroom. And yes, these won't be on it. These because you pour the mold this way. These are to keep them straight. You pour the epoxy resin this way, right? But in all fairness, it's going to be a mushroom. And I don't know if you can see it. Uh, you could there for a minute. But in here, it's got these little things in here that's actually raised up, right? So they're going to be um, like these are going to be implanted on here. So you can paint them or you can go in here and add color to this right in here and it will you know add color to it when it's going but this will be the finished little mushroom pot and this that on my list it says 287 right uh 
This one is a, what they call a canister, right? This is how it goes, right? You pour the resin in here and in here, but you see how this has got a scalloped edge, right? This has got threads on it, right? Down here. And this has got threads in here. So you pour the resin this way, right? And this goes this way and should screw on. We'll see. We'll see. So, and this one, the canister was $4.49. Now, I'm just getting into this resin stuff. So I'm not sure if this is a good price or not. But they are very, very soft, right? But they're not thin. If you can see here, this is not... That's not thin, right? So where they need to be sturdy, they seem to be sturdy, right? And where they need to be flexible to get the, the molds out of and to, to release, right? They seem to be just that. I mean, they're sturdy, but you're going to be able to, and you can see here the threads on this one right so they're going to have threads on it once i turn it wrong side out right and then it goes right back in no ripping on the edges or anything because they're thick enough to where they're not going to rip but strong enough to where you know all right this one is what they call a bottle mold, and it was only a dollar seventy nine, right? And it came. This is it, right? And this is the right side up. It goes all the way down, right? I'm touching the bottom with my fingers. You pour it this way, and this is the way it goes. But it comes with the corks. That go in the inside so these corks will fit right inside of there right to close up the bottom so and again this is thick enough right so they're not I mean they're pretty good molds they're not like the cheap ones that you can get a home of. I mean they are cheap but they're not cheaply made I should say I want to keep that one together, so I'm going to go ahead and stuff it back in the bag. I don't want to have to go looking for pieces of a certain mold. All right. Now, I've got one more mold back here. Actual mold. And it is the coaster mold, right? And um, coaster mold right the canister was 340 uh, 349 uh, 359 the canister which is this one and the coaster is 449 right and uh oh oh there it is found it okay uh all right here is your base, poured like this, but it goes like this. This is where you get them out of, right? All right, now, this is supposed to be a coaster of four. This is what I liked about it. A lot of them only come with the, the base and then only one of these, right? And you got to wait till this cures and everything before you can make more to go into your base this came with all four of the molds right so that you can do it in one pouring right you don't have to wait till one cures or whatever or two do some of them only come with like one or two but this one came with all four so you can make the whole set with one mixing of your resin right so you don't have to worry about matching colors or anything like that so and that's what i liked about this set is that it came all in one 
you know, thing. You didn't have to. So that, that was a good thing, in my opinion. Of course, everything is just my opinion. You know, it's... Uh-oh. I don't even think you're part of my bag. Okay. Well, I'm going to get, um, I'm going to, I'm going to store my resin or my uh, molds in plastic containers or plastic bags anyway. All right. Last thing. We will do a different video for the diamond paintings that I got. But this is not a mold. It is a pouring thing. It is separated into four containers. You put different colors. If you wanted d glitter, anything, different colors, you put them in here. And when you pour it, it will blend them. Right? So, this is uh, the thing I got for pouring resin. Right? And let's see if I can find it. Uh, the split cup paint mold. This was a dollar forty-eight, right? And like I said, if you only wanted two, you put them in here, right? If you wanted three, then you can put them in here. This one ain't gonna matter, right? But this one did four, so I went ahead and went with the four one, right? So that you could blend things. So if you wanted a mixture of paint or paint and glitter, so all right, that is. The smalls in this group, in this order, and the resin stuff in this order. Come back, right? I got four diamond paintings in this order, and guys, I have another order. Um, has already come in down here from this company, but I want to show you guys. Um what kind of diamond paintings you can get from this company and um, the, well, what kind of drills are in there and stuff like that. So come on back and see what uh, diamond paintings I did get. Uh, I think all the ones in this one are, yeah, are full rounds, are full diamond paintings. My next order has a lot of special drills in it, and I cannot wait to look at them. I have been waiting. Here in CAD, Texas, we are in, I am in the section that is been in a freeze for like three days now. Yeah, a freeze for nearly three days. I, I may end up having to call off work tomorrow because this is not supposed to end until tomorrow afternoon so we have been in a freeze my entire days off so i have been sitting up there working on these right so um yeah again i want to tell richard thank you i appreciate you sharing this and i told you when i finished them i would show them on my channel and of course credit where I learned it, and, uh, yeah, so, anyway, guys, he is great, so, these are my first two, I have a couple more planned out, but I'm not sure when I will get them, yes, I have taken a break from diamond painting, only because, uh, I got frustrated because one of mine got mangled, and I don't want to take that chance on some of the others, so, um, I've been doing other things instead. I'm still working on my infinity scarf. Um, I'm working on my grandchild's uh, um, cross stitch blanket. And i done these. So I've been working on some other things. So anyway, I did find out that my son is having a boy. So I am having a new grandson, not just a grandbaby. But I hope he doesn't mind me sharing that with you guys. But it's shared. So anyway, guys, this is going on 20 minutes. I want to let everybody know. Come on back if you want to see the diamond paintings I got in this order and the next one. You guys take care. If you're in Texas in this freeze, right, keep up. We're almost through it. Everybody else, you guys take care of yourselves and each other. From my family to yours, we want to send our hugs, our loves, and our prayers. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, everybody.